It's a sad fact of life that every year dozens of Sable Island's wild horses do not make it through the winter. This summer, volunteers from the Sable Island Institute found more than twice as many dead as usual. We recorded uh, about 150 individuals, so uh, roughly 25% of the total population. Parks Canada ecologist Dan Keeler says the horses are most vulnerable in late winter when their energy reserves are lower and grasses are scarce. But they do carry a parasite load and in the winter time there isn't a lot of forage for them. So those factors together with cold, wet, windy weather can create some challenges and lead to mortality. The number of horses on the island fluctuates. Last year it reached 591, the highest number ever. We have seen these declines before, and in fact, this is something that is characteristic of feral horse populations in general. The die-off, no surprise to this University of Saskatchewan researcher. Philip McLaughlin says this year is not the largest or even close to the largest on the island, documented in aerial surveys and ground counts over the past 60 years. These corrections are uh, not only expected, but... Uh, allows then for population increase to happen again. And uh, it's, yeah, this is, I would say this is a expected and a normal uh, component of the uh, population on Sable Island. Past crashes, he says, tended to remove the most inbred weakest in the herd. This summer, 30 foals were born and grasses were abundant. Parks Canada considers the herd a wild species and lets nature take its course, however grim that may be. Paul Withers, CBC News, Halifax.